guys welcome to our channel please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from almighty java in this video we will see about Zool api gateway and how to integrate with spring boot this video is just the basics about the Zool, but this video contains enough information about Zool, so watch till the end what is Zool? Zool is an edge service or an api gateway that proxies requests to multiple backing services Zool provides a unified front door to your system, which allows a browser, mobile app, or other user interfaces to consume services from multiple hosts without managing cross-origin resource sharing (CORS) and authentication for each one. In simple words, Zool receives all the requests coming from the UI, either web or mobile, and then it delegates the requests to internal microservices. Here are some more points about Zool. Zool is built to enable dynamic routing, monitoring, resiliency, and security. Zool is a JVM-based router and server-side load balancer from Netflix. Zool is a series of filters that can perform a range of actions during the routing of HTTP requests and responses. Zool provides a framework to dynamically read, compile, and run these filters. Filters do not communicate with each other directly, instead, they share state through a request context which is unique to each request. Types of filters in Zool Pre, filters execute before the request routing to the origin. Routing filters handle routing the request to an origin. Post filters execute after the request has been routed to the origin. Error filters execute when an error occurs during one of the other phases. Zool request lifecycle. In this diagram, you can see how HTTP requests connect to the origin server and send a response back to the client. Here you can see the first filter is pre filters, then routing filters, then it connects to the origin server and return back to routing filters, and then it call the post filters and at last send response back to the client. I hope you understood. In this video, we will use pre filter. How do we create a microservice for Zool? We must create a microservice which is Zool enabled and this service sits on top of all other microservices. So whenever any request comes for any microservice then this main microservice, Zool enabled, will redirect or delegates to proper microservice. Here is the dependency for Netflix Zool. Before Zool, three services are running on three different ports. And whenever we call any microservice, generally we directly call using URL. Here is the example. After Zool. We created one microservice in which is Zool enabled and running on 8080 port, like the below URL. So now any request comes for any microservice then it will redirect using Zool MS microservice. Here is the example. Let's implement. If you are following our other videos about microservices then you knew very well about these microservices. So here three microservices and one Eureka server is up and running. And here in the browser also everything is already opened. Let's open Eureka server first. See here three microservices registered properly. See this is 8001 and it gets message 2 from microservice 2 and message 3 from microservice 3. If you want to know how then you should watch our old video about open fane. Ok moving further. Open next tab. See this is 8002 and it gets message 3 from microservice 3. Open next tab. See this is 8003 and it's simply printing a message. Let's return back to Eclipse. Before implementing Zool related changes one simple change I want to do. Open application class of Eureka client. So here it's simply using slash and is calling this home method. So now we will add some text like Eureka client 1 after the slash. See it restarts automatically. Let's check now 8001 is working or not. It's not working, let's add Eureka client 1 also. See it is working, now let's add similar kind of changes for 8002 and 8003 also. But for them we need to add some changes in application properties file also. Let's do all these changes. Let's check for 8002. See it's working. Let's add similar changes for 8003. See everything is working as expected. Now let's add Zool related changes. First, let's add Zool dependency in the POM XML file of the Eureka client. 
Here I am just copying and modifying it to Zool. See it starts to download, downloaded successfully. Now let's add Zool annotation in the application class, so annotation is like enable Zool proxy. Now we need to add Zool related properties also, so let's add in the application properties file. Like I said Zool supports dynamic routing so here what I am trying to achieve is like we will access Eureka Client 2 and 3 using 8001 port instead of 8002 and 8003. I hope you got some idea, let's add the routes for Eureka Client 2 and 3, don't worry it is simple. See we added two routes, and that's it, let's check is everything working or not. See it's working, let's try to access Eureka Client 2 using 8001. See it's not working, if you remember I talked about the filters like pre, routes, post, and error. So here also we need to create, let's see how do we do that? Let's first create a bean for Zool filter. Actually Zool filter is an interface. So let's implement all the methods. See here are the four methods like should filter run, filter type and filter order. First let's change should filter value from false to true, let's mention filter type as pre. Change filter order to 1, and inside run method, let's see how to print details. In some other video, we will go in more detail. Now I am just printing the details about the request. Ok, everything is done. Let's try now. First let's refresh the Eureka server. See it removed Eureka client 1 from instances list. And it's throwing some error. Better let's restart the server for 8001. Server started. Let's refresh again. See 8001 instance registered. Let's refresh all the microservices. See all are working, let's try to run Eureka Client 2 from 8001 port. See it is working, let's try to run Eureka Client 3 from 8001 port. See this is also working, I hope you got at least some idea about Zool. Let's stop all the servers. Let's review whatever we added. I committed these changes to Git, I will show you from where you can find the changes. So open our GitHub page. See here is the repository.
And here are the changes. That's it about this project. If you want you can also download and add your changes accordingly. If you watched our previous videos then you knew we applied similar kind of changes in two different projects. So let's apply Zool related changes to Almighty Java project also. See both the projects are up and running. Let's check and log in. See here username is Mighty Java and password is password. See all menus are working fine. Yeah book list is a special one because it reads data from a different project. So like first section here also book rest API you can access from different URL. Let's open the readme file. See here are the URLs. Let's open first one. See it's working. Here what we want is like we can access this URL also using 8080 port. Let's apply Zool related changes like the first section. Open GitHub page and open Zool repository. See here also I modified readme file. So you can directly come to know what were the changes we added. Let's copy required code step by step. Open POM XML file and add Zool dependency. Let's stop both the servers. Now let's add property related changes. See it is simple, now let's add annotation related changes in the application class. Let's copy bean also. That's it. Let's run both the server again. Both the server started. 8081 is working fine. 8080 is also working. Now let's access book rest API using 8080. Oops not working. Let's add one more property in the application properties file. This property is path related. It restarted. Let's try now. Still not working. Let's use Mighty Java also as part of the URL. See it is working. Let's add one more book. See everything is working as expected. See here is system log for Zool filter. Let's review whatever we added.
I hope now you will not forget whatever we did for this video. Even I checked in my changes for this also. I will show you where you can find these changes. See here is the repository. See here are the complete detail about changes. That's it about this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.